So when did you first start in the EDM game? I guess I started in the EDM game. I went to radio school, and when I say radio school, I mean like a six-month diploma of radio broadcasting. Um, then it rolled up to George FM, and I applied for an internship there, and they said, we don't have any internships for you. I said, I'll work for you for free, and that's kind of how I cracked into it, yeah. Nice. Now, what can we expect from a set? My sets are pretty variable. Um, I mean, someone said to me early on when I started mixing, like, don't define yourself with one genre play a lot of genres and then you can definitely play more gigs and that's so true you know like people yeah. have specific club nights for drum and bass or trap or house or whatever but if you're across the board you can play all of them. Now what do you look for in new tracks to play on air? Originality I think I mean there's so much electronic music now I mean even in the last five years the explosion of electronic music has been huge so to find something that's new or something that's different is really important but also um, new and different takes on tracks that everyone knows great remixes someone that's taken something and completely flipped it on its head but made it still recognizable I think that's that's massive for me and my sets I want to play something that people are going to go oh I kind of recognize this mm. but it's a totally new take on it. Right. Thanks for your time, Ben. Hey, not a problem. I've been walking on a big up push play TV, lock it in, watch it every time. The episodes are dope. <laughs>